Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Google Certified Innovator and Trainer. Today's video is another product review, the Samsung Chromebook Plus. This is the Plus, not the Pro. I want to thank my colleague, Mr. Quick, for letting me play with his Samsung Chromebook Plus. And let's be honest, this is more of an initial impressions than a full-on review like I did for my Asus Chromebook Flip C302. Terrible name, terrible name, Asus. Great device, terrible name. My initial impressions, one, it does look really nice. It has more of like maybe like a phone aesthetic than the MacBook uh, Pro aesthetic of the Asus, but I really do like it. I like the Samsung logo. I actually really considered buying this one because I like the Samsung logo so much more than that Asus 1985 thing. Anyway, let's just take a quick little look around the device. Here is your volume rocker along with your power and of course that USB, both this, the Samsung the Plus, the Pro, the Asus, they all have that USB-C rather than the conventional old school. So you're probably gonna have to buy an adapter like I did. And same over here, you got the SD, you got the USB-C and you got the volume, is that the, no, 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 that's, oh, that's the um, mic in and then an SD or whatnot. And there's also no HDMI, so you gotta buy that cable. The HDMI adapter cable, geez, that's like a $20 one, no good. Anyway, we open it up. All right, everyone knows some of the pluses and minuses. So plus, the screen is unbelievable. If we look at, let me try to brighten that up all the way. Let me then go to Chrome and I'm using my finger. That's the Google Play Store. And I'm trying not to get the glare yet. Yeah, this, this display is as good as I've ever seen. Let's just do a quick little form factor. So I'll get this as my tablet. The tablet obviously much more, makes a lot more sense than say the one on the Asus Chromebook. Again, I can play with the brightness and stuff right down here in the shelf, but I would love a little drop down to be able to do that. Um, the big thing about, uh, then let me just, yeah, this is good. I mean, you guys know the other form factors with the flip. Uh, it makes a little bit more sense as a tablet. Oh, keyboard. Let's talk about a keyboard real quick as this thing attacks me. Because I'm about to talk about something that's not as good. I played with this just a little bit. It's like these keys are great, and then you hit the delete key. As you can see, it's smaller. This too also has the lock here rather than the power. I'd much prefer the power be there. So, and the keyboard, it's not backlit. You're paying a higher price for a Chromebook without a backlit keyboard, so that's kind of annoying. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's overall pretty good, but I would say the feel when you actually press a key is not as awesome as the Asus. That's a real strength of the Asus. Let's talk about the strength of this one beyond the display. And the size, like, I like the 3 by 2 The size is nice. But I will say, I think I was underselling the value of this. Let me tell you, actually what's more important than this stylus, right? Because you can buy a stylus on Amazon just as I did. But they've embedded something in the OS here. Dear Google, dear Asus, dear anyone who makes a touchscreen Chromebook, can we just do that for all touchscreen Chromebooks and just use, like, we can use the styluses that we purchased? Why does it have to be a, a specific branded stylus? This here, I don't know if you can see this, but you have settings, you can capture. So let me capture a region real quick. So I'm capturing this region and then annotate image. Look at this. And so now on this, let me go here. Let me do the red. Let me do it big. And now I'm writing on this now, obviously. And you know what? It'd be better if I do it this way. It would, ob Oop, and I lost my internet connection because of that. Oh, well, as you can see, Again, I could screen, I can do that, or maybe I can't. It looks like I'm in tablet mode and I'm having a hard time now. So I can do that, but I'm not getting my tools. I, you know what? My colleague probably has this set to the shelf disappears um, in tablet mode. Who knows? I haven't played with it enough to know. But what I'm saying is this, is that between the Android apps, which again, I haven't played with on this. I'll talk about that in a minute. The pen settings on this is just awesome in that you can take a screen capture and immediately annotate on it and draw on it. That's really, really cool. The Android, I haven't played with the Play Store all that much. I just logged into it today. So it's like asking me for my login and all that stuff. But, um, and look, it's enabling voice search. 
Here's the thing. This has the ARM processor, apparently, and I haven't tested it, but the Octane scores that you read on the internet, apparently on this, are not super great compared to the Asus or the Pro. But the ARM processor apparently is better with the Play Store and with the Android app. So we're going to see how that plays out. I don't know one way or the other. I will say this. I like this device. I haven't had enough time to really, really play with it. I'm sure for like consumption, this might be the best Chromebook out there. For creation, I'm not really sure. Your keyboard's a little smaller. It does feel good, and the letter keys are fine. There's really nothing wrong with those letter keys. So for the Plus and the Pro, I wouldn't take away from that. I will say the thing that I miss on the Asus, the screen's not as good on the Asus, all right, but the, is the embedded OS features for the stylus. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to talk more about this comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Thanks so much for watching.